A tour of Chicago from a helicopter can be an unforgettable experience, but for some, the loud noise and low altitude flights are on their radar for all the wrong reasons. Our Charlie DeMar explains. A helicopter ride high above Chicago. The vantage point is unbeatable. Looking down at the city's buildings and attractions, for those on board this flight, it's a picture perfect moment. These sightseeing trips can take off and land every five minutes or so from Chicago's Vertiport. It becomes quite maddening. Mike Palmer has seen and heard enough. He's recorded cell phone video of what he calls near constant buzzing over Washington Square Park near his Gold Coast home. Definitely the noise and just the repetitive nature of it. It's just constant and it kind of drives you crazy. So this is what we're talking about here? Yeah, right here. Let's see it go right overhead. Right overhead. And this is constant? Constant, yeah. Palmer filed a complaint with the FAA. The agency conducted a radar analysis over a week in March. 23 helicopters, most of them tourism flights, came within a mile of Palmer's house at an average altitude of just 850 feet. The FAA saying in a statement in part, we understand your concern regarding the helicopters flying over your residence. However, the FAA generally cannot restrict or dictate how many flights or at what hours aircraft operators can fly. Leaders with the airport say maintaining positive relationships with neighbors is a priority, adding that the reason that these flights seem more noticeable is because they were virtually non-existent during COVID. The executive director of the Vertiport says in part, we don't have jurisdiction or control over helicopter operators flying through Chicago. We consistently encourage them to be considerate and mindful of the community. I think it's reached an unacceptable level. Charlie DeMar, CBS 2 News.